What's up Transformers fans? My name is Mondo and welcome back to Moonbase 84. And today let's check out the Transformers Beast Wars Neo Big Convoy. So here is Big Convoy in his mammoth mode. Now keep in mind, this toy is from 1999, so it's not gonna have all the modern bells and whistles. With that being said, um, I really do like the paint work on this, uh, on Big Convoy. Um, especially down here, you got, well, he's two-tone, obviously, darker brown, lighter brown, but what I like is when the lighter brown is almost like a gold, especially when it hits the light. And I think that's really cool. And all throughout the fur texture is really nice. The silly thing about him is that his belly is almost hitting the ground, which is kind of funny, making it kind of odd, but he's a woolly mammoth. Maybe that's just hair almost hitting the ground, who knows? But yeah, it does make him a tad bit odd. We'll go around to the back and you can see some robot parts there. I mean, that can't be helped most of the time. And then here's a look at the front, which I like his green eyes and his trunk and his tusks are really cool as well. And obviously the reason I did him is because we're getting, decided to take a look at him is because we're getting a Magmatron. So it'd be kind of cool to check out Big Convoy. And also, as some of you who watch the channel know, I recently, I've recently just watched Beast Wars, Beast Wars Second and Neo for the first time ever. And I fell in love with both of those shows. So yeah. Well, why not take a look at Big Convoy here? <laughs> I know I'm rambling. Um, like I said, being a toy from 1999, he's not super articulated in beast mode. I mean, his legs are static. They don't really move or anything. He does have nice paint work on his toes though, but his tail does articulate. His ears swing in and out, but that's also because of gimmicks. Back then we had a lot of gimmicks. Let me see if I can show you. I don't like doing this gimmick, but you pull on the ears and the tusks move. I'm always afraid I'm gonna snap those, so I don't like doing that. And also there's a lever here. You can make his trunk move. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> but yeah, a little chunky, <laughs> a little maybe oddly proportioned, but really fun mammoth beast mode. And here he is next to his little buddy Stampy. Stampy is either a giant massive rabbit or big convoys a runt for mammoth <laughs> of course i'm just kidding that's just the way it is with uh toys but yeah i think they look cool together so as per usual i'll get this guy transformed up and we'll take a look at the robot mode so here's big convoy in robot mode and there's quite a bit to talk about him in this mode um some good some bad <laughs> some in between but the elephant in the room <laughs> pun intended is the uh all oops all the beast kibble just hanging off him kind of makes him a hot mess when um posing and things like that but you can work around it but yeah but that was a sign of the times and that is one of the reasons that takara made the decision to make car robots because people were complaining about the intricate intricate transformations that um they were getting too hard for kids with that being said Besides all the extra stuff, I will say also, though, it's obvious they pretty they made the toy before they made the show because <laughs> all this junk hanging off of him is uh, show accurate. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, let's go over him in greater detail. Because besides all the extra stuff hanging off of him, he is a pretty cool robot when you get up close. I mean, starting off the head is awesome and getting the focus i love that head and then like the robot parts and stuff are nicely painted you got some clear red plastic and the maximal symbol some nice blues some nice golds some nice grays some nice cream color so yeah really nice colors on this guy just like i enjoyed um, the paint apps and the details on the beast mode i more so do with the robot mode i mean you know this nice cybernetic work or whatever here is that really cool but that head sculpt awesome prime looking head sculpt moving down to the feet and it continues i love the blues the metallic blues such an awesome looking um robot 
with all the robot parts. And here he is from the side and that's where he gets ugly. <laughs> front, if you look at him from the front, he's not so bad. Once you turn him, start turning him around, <laughs> that's where he gets ugly with all of his mammoth parts. And then of course you got the mammoth tusks and half a head <laughs> on each side of his shoulders. And the other part of the mammoth head, the trunk and things transforms into his big cannon so he can go big cannon go like he does in the show but of course that's all laid in with beast mode kibble <laughs> but if you get it just right let's see if i can do this everything gets in the way of itself with this guy unfortunately but yeah now he's holding his whoa and it's pretty heavy so it does way down that ball joint which is a shame maybe if i raise it yeah I guess if you get it here and then kick them back. <laughs> but my copy does seem to have trouble holding it, but it's huge and that's a ball joint. So like a barbell. Oh no, it's not. What am I talking about? That's not a ball joint. That's a hinge. Oh, it is a hinge. <laughs> my apologies. The way the peg comes out here, it makes me think ball joint, but that's a hinge. Well, either way, the hinge is kind of uh, has trouble holding it up. So that might be a problem in some posing, which it is. I mean, I've owned this figure for a while. <laughs> Shouldn't say probably like I just got him. Um, yeah, <laughs> now that just adds to his chunk and all the parts everywhere, which is kind of funny. But in a lot of ways, just like I'm not a fan. Usually if I get frustrated with kibble when it goes crazy and crashes over everything and we'll talk about that more in a bit and the final thoughts but then his arms go down like so i've actually never done this before because i was never really super interested in it but just like in the show he has his tomfas oh and they actually do plug in so cool and that's for each side let's see yep let's see, just rotate them out Ooh, without breaking it please and then he can have his Tomfa attack. I forget what he called it in the show. I always just remember Big Cannon Go. <laughs> so he does come with two uh, missiles for his uh, cannon. And they do fire, which I really don't want to do because I'll probably lose them. Oh, there they go. I'm being a wuss. <laughs> we just spin the little knob here and it did fire, but I blocked it. So that's pretty cool. And he also comes with these arrow type rocket things like other Beast Wars figures have. If I can get in right, you stick them in and they fire. <laughs> so that's pretty cool too. You can't, you can't transform him with these in him for some weird reason. I'm not gonna fire them because my review space is small and I'll just have everything crashing down. <laughs> And the last accessory Big Convoy's packing is he does have a open chest to reveal a beautiful matrix. I mean, that thing is awesome looking. Love the gold on it. And that is removable as well, and he can hold it. And here's a closer look at his big cannon. It's supposed to go like that, but I'm flipping it around because I just wanted to show the nice detail work they put on the inside of where the elephant's eyes go in mammoth or mammoth mode. So there's a look at that and it does attach on the back once again, adding to everything getting in the way with, let's see, this port. I probably won't even do it guys, I'm sorry, but it, it's just a big clunky mess, but that flips out and you can tab it and then you can put it like sideways it is unfortunately and i'm sorry it's too much of a hassle for me to go through right now because as you can see all this that just adds to it and i do not display him like that for sure and once again here's big convoy with his buddy stampy but this time in robot mode articulation wise there's a lot here but of course because of all the beast parts it is uh can be a frustrating workaround and things tend to get in the way and things like that but his head does swivel it has a nice tilt looks down a little bit he's got shoulders of course you gotta move those out of the way <laughs> his tusks or yeah his tusks he's got you know a lot of 
like what we call modern articulation. And this was from 1999. Does he have wrists? No wrists. But his waist does swivel. Mine is really tight. I'm always afraid I'm going to break it, but you have to swivel it to transform. And then once you get to the legs, it's where the problems. He kicks up. Maybe one more click. You hear those ratchets. Those are pretty cool. His leg does go out. And then, it, you know, the kibble crashes. He's got the thigh swivel. Uh, nice knees. Push the kibble out of the way. And there you go. Let's see. And then the thing is, once you do that, you got to get everything back to where you want it. <laughs> Which is a problem. And it's frustrating. <laughs> Not going to lie. Now everything's out. He's got a heel that's independent that rocks and moves and the foot that's independent and rocks so that's really cool but like i said once you start moving him you have to be prepared to put things back in place why is my why is this? Oh, okay i don't like them displayed like these pieces out that far that fire i try to get them I'm trying to find a workaround to get these things, these back pieces out so I can have these closer. I don't like them hanging off like that. But yeah, you can get them in poses. I've done it. I mean, not, it's unfortunate because he's, the articulation is there for some nice dynamic poses that the kibble doesn't allow. But again, this is a figure from 1999. Final thoughts on Big Convoy here. Um, he's a mixed bag. I mean, there's definitely a lot of good, but there's, a lot of frustration as well and <laughs> i just went over um his robot mode is really cool looking he's big he's imposing um the paint work is excellent the details are really cool love that gold matrix it just really pops and his beast mode is a, a passable enough beast mode especially when you're talking about what era he comes from 1999 and that too has some really nice paint work um it's just that He's got a lot of kibble that can cause, be a big cause of frustration that hinders some of this awesome articulation. And as I mentioned, you can work around it and move things around to get some good poses, but he is frustrating. And a lot of things, panels and things tend to get in the way of each other that lead to that fr frustration. But all in all, um, going by the era he came from and everything like that, I really love this guy. Um, It'd be up to you. Obviously, it is up to anybody if they're going to buy something or not. But um, just because I happen to like him and can get over some of that stuff, uh, the frustrations and things, doesn't mean I recommend going out and buying him for high ap aftermarket prices. If you can find him for a deal and you're interested, yeah, check him out. Add him to your collection. Um, with that being said, I also um, am very interested in seeing what the new big convoy is going to be or mammoth prime is probably what they'll call him because we pretty much know we're getting a new one to go with that new uh magma trine that's coming out so yeah that'd be very interesting to see what they do and how they manage the kibble i don't know really what they could do maybe make some more foldy flat uh these flaps fold and compress more maybe but they also the problem with that it's a double-edged sword because if they did do that you might uh, completely change the look of the design of the character and people would complain about that. But of all the releases coming out, he's not the Mammoth Prime. And we haven't gotten any leaks. Of all the leaks we've gotten, we haven't had any about him or any leak, leak pictures or anything, which is interesting. But of all the um, characters of all these massive leaks we've just been getting recently, um, I'm, he's not my most anticipated, but I'm most interested to see the mammoth or big convoy just to see how they deal with all this um that was a mouthful if you made it this far as always thanks for um checking out my videos uh consider subscribing and thank you to all my current subscribers and until next time thanks for docking